A little bit more difficult than normal we've got external range up here um, that we've already taken out on es and q failing to some watching potential smt up there then we have this irl gap down here in the current dealing range between low and high and discount um, we do have cpi tomorrow so we're expecting some rougher price action you mark this one out too so you can see here's the erl i marked out this is previous this is friday's high so it is a form of time-based liquidity Anyways, SMT between there, standard ERL to IRL run and discount. Got still 70, yeah, 58 points or so. Can narrow this down even more. We got a five minute gap there. Um, so we got SMT with the ERL. Going for this five minute candle to print lower and then a one minute gap to hopefully go short on. Still some SMT there. We have the breaker in here too. Use your ERL run. Let's see how this holds. Digging up into it with the fair value gap on ES. Like that. So NQ came all the way up to the rejection block. That's really your last premium PDRA in the matrix. Um, and this rejection block I'm looking at is the highest up closing or down closing candle in the swing point. And the wick portion of it is your rejection block. This is a very I, I rarely use this. Now our 15 minute candle did just close. So you'd like to see our uh, five minute candle print lower. I want to see this, this candle or next candle print lower and form some sort of an imbalance, preferably layered on top of this gap. This is why focusing too much on the one minute is not going to do you a whole lot of, it's not going to benefit you. If you just have this one minute chart pulled up, you're not looking at anything else. It's going to be way too confusing because there's too much data. And you are going to flip bias so many times just looking at this one minute chart. Um, how many times does it disrespect order blocks? How many times does it come back up and retrace and reverse? All those tiny things are going to kind of just spam analysis into your brain. And a lot of times it's way more difficult than if you just zoomed out and go from top down. You need to see this on the higher time frame, then this on a lower time frame, then this on an even lower time frame. Um, and filtering it that way will help you basically just analyze and, and filter out the poor setups. If you're just watching the one minute waiting for a one minute market structure shift, although there's nothing wrong with that, there has to be some sort of reason why the market structure shift is now valid. Like how many times did we shift market structure in here? You could argue you know, so many different times. Well, there's a bearish market structure shift. There's a bullish market structure shift here. There's another bearish one. So there's a lot of data in here if you just wait for 15 minutes to do something, then five minutes to do something, then wait for your one minute. The setups are a lot clearer because you have higher time frame candles and order flow supporting your idea. Really now any civvy that forms, I'm completely fine with taking a stab short. So there's your five minute candle printing lower after the 15 minute SMT, ERL to now IRL run. Everything lining up. So now you guys wait and time is lining up too, right? We're at 950 macro. If this for value gap here can print, that would be nice. And there's your imbalance. So could go short off this. Stop loss going above preferably this candle's high. Take profit at the IRL. 20 points as well would be from here to right about the low. Looking good. We are digging into the IRLs here. So it's good to be mindful of that. In case we do want to take out this swing low, I'm fine with that. Um, technically, on the higher time frames, we did trade up into an imbalance with this ERL. So on ES, since it's weaker, I'm fine with it reaching down all the way to the sell side and trading through the IRL. Um, I'm watching this last down closing candle over here. Should be held as a bearish order block. So we have a high, low, higher high as a breaker. This is a high, low, lower high. Um, so this last down closing candle is a mitigation block um, that price most times respects pretty well. Now, normally this would freak me out and we still could go for the stop, but because we had this kind of deep retracement to the rejection block and it's already showing it's gonna be poor price action, I can't move my stop now or close it out. It's either it takes the stop or you run for, for partials. 
We did take internal range buy side there of the swing high, right? Stop run lower. I can record our screen. Yeah, OBS is the way that I use it. It's really easy to set it up um, and it does not require a whole lot of like computer resources. There's your first partial, by the way. Um, I'm going to move stop to break even there because I don't want it to come all the way back. So OBS is probably the easiest one and it requires very little resources. So it's not like if you have a laptop you're, you're trading on, it, it's going to blow up your computer. If we keep bouncing off this imbalance here, I'm going to close out the last one. Just because ES is pretty far in discount and NQ doesn't look like it wants to catch up. But like, look, we got this deep retracement here and within one candle came back, slammed our take profit. As long as we're getting bearish reaction off this order block here, that's our tiny breaker. So something like that, I'm out. I don't like it digging that far up. And if I'm wrong, it is what it is. But there is your setup, still 20 points. Low probability stuff, but you can see it still is able to ride most times. Um, so it actually could reach down to the second partial. It is what it is. But I'm not liking the fact it is holding this imbalance. Like, if we had one more candle that probably printed bullishly, like if this candle had printed bullishly, I would have taken my stop. And that comes with just, and if it reversed after that, that's, that's fine. But that just comes with practice and experience because even on a lower time frame, like if I had to explain it, think about this as a 15 minute chart and the stop run. So I'm, I'm glad I took that second partial off. But think about this as a stop run. If this was 930 right here, what are we doing? Well, we're running stops. What do you like to see in the lower time frames? The second candle or the five minute candle, then print lower. So the fact that we ran stops here, then printed lower, that to me, I was like, okay, we're fine. And you can see this nice one displaced again. So I was completely fine with it after that. If we had taken the stops, printed lower, and then this candle wicked into this imbalance and then started trading back up and took out this high or this high, I'm closing it out. I know it's going to take my stop most likely, but that's something most times you can't teach through X, Y, Z. Here's a rule. Here's this, this, this. To, to teach it, it just comes with doing it. And you don't need to trade every day. I've, I've proven that to you. Like I'm not streaming every day. I'm not pushing the button most times every day. I'm just doing it just because there's learning examples that hopefully I'm, I can show you that there is a setup, but you don't need to be trading something like today. And the economic calendar tells you that. You need 50 points a week. Can you get 50 points a week? Really, it's your entire salary for your for your year. If you can work yourself up, slowly to 50 points a week and you're able to take those 50 points with two contracts you start doing the math that is plenty at least where i'm from that is plenty of of money in a year and you think oh that's so small but that's all you need and then okay if if you're really good at taking 20 points in reality that's all you need you don't need to train yourself now to take 40 points it's good to do that because you want to take runners when you're right and price action is a low resistance liquidity run that's likely to just get there quickly but then just think about okay if i can scale my capital up and i can now put five contracts behind that 20 points and still be properly risk managed think about how much more that's going to give you and then still target that 50 points a week 50 points a week times your five contracts, you start doing the math, that's that's a decent chunk of money. Um, and 50 points a week, you could get that, like, someone got, who's that? Someone got 83 points yesterday. I'm sure a bunch of people took a, a decent amount of, some took 60 points, like, all of that stuff is good. But then just, if you, if you get like a 100 point run on a Monday, just take it slow the rest of the week. Like, there's no point in burning all of that profit just because you want to be greedy and push it more than like for me, if I'm making 1.5 X or or two X of a, a daily or weekly goal, I'm stopping right there just to completely avoid the greed. And there's no point in, you know, there's no point in pushing your edge. Um, and that's why recording yourself and watching the recordings over can make you better because the way you improve in something, or if you, if you want to master something, how do you master it? Well, you want to teach it to someone and that can just be teaching yourself. You don't got to post it anywhere. It's just for you. So if you can record yourself and then teach 
you go back and watch, why did I mark that up? Why, why did I enter there when I could have entered here and placed my stop there and gotten better? Like there's, you'll never be perfect at this game. You'll never, you will never master the market. Only thing you can master is yourself. So first of all, learn that. So first of all, learn about how can I master myself, focus on the discipline aspect of it, writing down your rules, writing down all that stuff, and then focus on what is something I can get better at every day. It, it doesn't have to be anything big. Like, okay, here's where I placed my stop. That was a good stop because X, Y, Z. And you just write that in little margins in the text box, take a screenshot of that, and that's that's your job. And that comes with not focusing on the money aspect, but that fo- comes with focusing on the execution, right? Like winning and losing does not determine how good you are as a trader. Um, it is what it is. You can watch for around whatever that 15 minute balance was in discount, this one here. So this is the current draw of liquidity. Right after end stream drops another 80 points down to the sell side. So we got the imbalance fill and the sell side there on ES and on NQ. As soon as, as, soon as the stream ends, it wants to drop all the way down there. But um, obviously it would have been a nice runner to keep, but I'm completely fine with closing that partial off um, before it ran. And it also is a random time, 10.30. There's your low put in. Pretty beautiful stuff there. So hopefully it was insightful for you. If it was, leave a like, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.